There's the famous bridge. Alright guys, so welcome to day two of the Everest Base Camp trek. Slippery rocks. Look at this epic view up here. Absolutely stunning. There's the Milk River that it translates from Napoleon to English. We had to cross this epic swing bridge up here. It should be a good day. We've got a big day today. We're walking like seven hours all the way up to Namchi Bazaar, which I think sits at around 3,400 meters. Right now we're at 2,600, so we've got a bit of elevation today, almost 1,000 meters vertical. I think it's like maybe 11 kilometers. You want my love. Oh, double! Oh, So close. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Daniel Bad. What is your name? What is your name? Nick. You? Lapsang. 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 Nice. Nice to meet you. What is your brother's name? I don't have a brother. You? Brother name. My brother name is Kim Suniko and I'm going to go to the Lapadoji. Lapadoji. Yes. Alright guys, so just behind me there is the entrance to the national park and there's like military guarding it and things because you have to get your permits to enter but if you go with a group then generally then that's all included in the price so they organize everything for you. I think the elevation here is just around almost 3,000. 2,855 I, th I think that sign says so. Walk's not too bad, still pretty mellow but feel the elevation a little bit but not too much. As you can see, just amazing walking through the local villages and things. I think all these villages were originally here for, you know, hundreds to maybe thousands of years. And that's why the path to base camp goes through here. It's because they kind of like use the paths that were already here through the villages. Pretty cool to see the local life. It's definitely a unique aspect. And talking to those kids before was pretty special. The kids are like super keen to have a talk and they don't always like, they haven't been asked for money. I was asked for chocolate once, but that was about it. What do you have to say? I have to say I'm very happy because I found Nick and <laughs> Lukla 
yesterday. You guys have to come here. That's one thing you do. It's hard work, especially as you get higher in altitude, but it's definitely something you have to consider. It's beautiful. I know that's a word I use all the time. What other words are good? Huge, mesmerizing. My brain's limited right now. I can't think of any better words than beautiful than that. Very, very beautiful. How's that? There's the Milk River below us. Prayer flags everywhere. So the prayer flags, you know, these colorful flags that you see a lot through Nepal and Tibet. I know I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna make a rough guess from like things that people have told me. I think the white is wind, because they all represent elements. White is wind, green is land, blue is water, red I think is fire, and yellow maybe sun, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check and find out exactly what the colors mean. You can see why I love this country so much. Namaste. was that guy on that horse. So we just stopped for some lunch for like an hour in a tea house back there. Now we're gonna start ascending pretty rapidly I think and soon we'll be coming up to some pretty big swing bridges. Get ready for some epic views. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? Hi. Yeah as I was saying before the kids are so friendly and like the most I've ever been asked for is chocolate. Never money which is a big deal, especially for less developed countries, so pretty special. And they have quite a good level of English, which is a good look into the future, I think, for their lives. Some epic swing bridges coming up, guys. I think the lower one was like something about was broken in a flood. It would have been a huge flood. So they rebuilt the one higher up and that's the one that we're gonna cross. So super sick. Made it to the bridge guys. It's sick. It's epic. Super epic. You could come just for this bridge, you wouldn't even have to go to base camp, it's that cool. So high. Namaste. Namaste. Tight squeeze it sometimes. They were just those half cow, half yak animals walking across here. So sick. Did I mention that it's quite high? And the prayer flags along the side just make it so much cooler. You guys have to come do this trick. Yeah. So as you can see, very sweaty right now. Took all the fast shortcuts. Kind of go straight up. I kind of like to do that sometimes. Trekking in a group is good because you meet cool people and good conversations, but I also really enjoy separating from the group and you know, kind of gunning it for a while. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? How are you? Good, man. Okay, okay. Yes. Nice cows. Very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I think this is one of the biggest uphills that we do on the trip. And 
terms of elevation game, gain. Oh, New Zealand. Yeah. You? I'm from Karikola. Calcutta. Karikola. Karifala. Nukla down one in two days. Ah, okay. Nice. You walk all the way? I walk the palms. Ah, okay. Your English good? No, no, no. Little, little. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so here we are, Namchi Bazaar, one of my favorite places in the world. Right now, it's cloudy. When this cloud clears, there's some epic views of some mountains. All around here there's huge mountains. Last time, two years ago when we came, it was cloudy like this. And then the next morning we woke up, it was amazing views. Tomorrow, we're going like straight up this mountain behind us to do some acclimatization. Yeah, right, man. Depending on the weather, we might go to the Sir Edmund Hillary school that he started up here. One of the first guys to climb Mount Everest. Him and his son have done a lot for the Nepali community in this district. And now I'm just going to go for a bit of a walk and have a look around Namchi. The views get a lot better tomorrow when we go a bit higher. So this is the highest Irish pub in the world apparently. Pretty epic. You can see this place is pretty established. You can get everything here really. There's an ATM here <laughs> at this altitude. So I just double checked the altitude with the local back there. 3,443 meters in elevation above sea level. Super cool city, I love this place. Like we just trekked for seven hours, but I have to go for a walk. That's our hotel. Namchi Bazaar. The bazaar it used to be a marketplace. According to the guide, the market was closed down by the government. As you can see, it's still almost a market. You know, you can come here and buy some pretty cool stuff. And it's, it's okay price, you know, for where it is. And everything's carried up here. So tomorrow we go up this mountain. It's called Mount Everest View Hotel. And it was built by the Japanese. And that's like a five star hotel. So we're gonna go up there and you have to buy like a drink or something. So you can sit there and you look out over the amazing views. Hopefully the weather's clear like it was last time because it's, if it is, then we're both in for a treat. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end the video there. I haven't shown you much of the tea houses. Hello. Hello. I think I will show you some of the tea houses. Tomorrow morning, I'll show you a few clips in tomorrow's video. It's just getting better and better with time really, isn't it? Namaste. Namaste, namaste. Yeah, it's just getting better with time and it's just gonna keep getting better. Feeling pretty fit and confident. I think my cold and flu is pretty much gone. So that's really good news because you don't want a cold or anything when you're up in those altitudes. Thanks for watching guys. See you for day three at Mount Everest Base Camp tomorrow.